Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so on to our next speaker, uh, Mr. Yusuf Bashir Qureshi. He is a walking, talking dichotomy, uh, a contradiction, a split, a disunion, maybe in the most beautiful kind of way. He is referred to as Buddha Baba by the people who know him. And the cultivated man has been successful at anything he touches, including his recent project called United Pakistan, which is a social program uh, that he initiated amongst the recent uh, flood disaster in Pakistan. Please welcome Mr. Yusuf Rashid Quraish. Still, still go. 
But if the environment is bad, we we'll become weak. The environment molds us. And I'm talking about this one plant that has that much energy to fight all odds. And you, the masterpiece of God, the king of his kingdom, have more powers. And the powers that are bestowed on you are no normal powers, they are godly powers. You know, God has 99 names, 99 powers. Not made weak. The only weakness, the weaknesses that you have are your strengths that you've not paid attention to. Like your health. It's your strength. Don't pay attention to it, it becomes your weakness. Like your business. Like your relationships. You don't pay attention to it, it becomes your weakness. So we're not made weak, we're just made with strengths. We just have not been conditioned to understand those strengths. We've been raised with fear. We've been raised with greed. Fear is not a bad thing. It's part of us. But we need to understand it. We don't understand it, we reject it. We don't even want to look at it. We don't want to look at our dark side. The strength lies in the dark side. Understanding it is actually accepting. So you come, you know, this bitter human. Come look, you know, we blame our Nassim for it. It's written on our positive note that we learn and grow every day to become this higher being. But the twist comes when we sway from the script. But that's what makes us human. And faith, a questionable task. Faith is beautiful. But understand, faith is fantasy. It is the ultimate love. And we all want to love. That's the main purpose of our life. To understand our powers and for people to benefit from it. You as king, each one of you, each one of you is extremely precious. And your story, God written. And your story revolves just around you. You're the king of that story. You need to recognize it, realize it, and amplify it so that people benefit from it. So that you start making better decisions. We become what the billboards have told us. Our likes are not ours. Our fears are not ours. We are not ours. So the first process, you know, doing all these good things, why are we doing this? Humans want to be human. But these distractions and this environment makes us inhumane. People working kids, that's not me. Animals don't do that. And he says, Jungle and Pro, come and handle. No. Animals have a very strict code of life. They will not sway from their code of life. So when you go from humanity, you don't become animals, you become beasts. So, and you guys are here, you guys are my future. You will the one, you're the ones who will paint my cities. You're the ones who will guard my streets. You will secure my children. You know, you're the ones who will make friends with the enemies. You will be the ministers of tomorrow. That is why I come talk to you, because I gain faith. Because that's the only thing I've left. It's hope. I don't have security in my country. I don't have water, I don't have gas, I don't have electricity. I don't have great leaders. Unfortunately, they are, but they need to recognize themselves, and we need to recognize them as well. We are so afraid of making heroes, and that's why we're so behind. So you are, you are my tomorrow. You're the only hope I have, and that's why I come to these places. To regain my strength, regain my faith, and come talk to you, because whatever I say, Whatever you tell yourself, you become that.
So keep telling yourself good things. Keep spreading good things. This is your strength. This is your responsibility. And this is your mother. His boundaries are man-made. You could be anywhere in the world. Yes, this has become our identity. Yes, to our neighbor. Your neighbor is your first responsibility. So Pakistan is that neighbor. You live here. You have certain responsibilities here. But you made the king of the universe. King of the kingdom. Pakistan is part of that. So understand that your strengths and your importance is not within the boundaries of this country. It is not even within this sphere. Jahan se aage aur bhi jahan. And positivity. How do you become positive? Because we're always looking for anyone wants to be positive. But Iman could get me sad Iman that too. But you know, and you want to be positive. People don't believe. Want to have believers amongst them. So never think that you know if you have hope, people won't come to you. We talk about you know scope. Scope is only for the best. If you're the best, you'll always be in demand. And the way to be the best is believe in what you do. And segregate this part to this part. Here is where you feel. This is a database. This is a computer, amazing computer. Whatever is fed into it will come out of it. It will make decisions according to what is fed into it. But here, it's independent. If there's cruelty, there should be pain. And if there's not pain, that means you're not, you're not here. You're not together with yourself. You're supposed to hurt. And we, all we look for is happiness. Happiness is a season. Understand that. It will come and go away. Like sadness. And the problem is when happiness comes on us, we freak out. We don't know how to handle it. We try to secure it. I hope it doesn't go away. I will always want to be happy. And you can't be happy when you're so worried about something that will go. And then, we have sadness when it comes to us. And we don't want to be sad. We look for happiness. We look for artificial happiness. So that our tears don't flow. These tears and sweat, this water to be drained. You keep it inside of you, it will kill you. It will disease you. And we've always feared to cry, to express. This is cures. These tears are cures to your illness. Understand that. Believe in that. And then when you're supposed to be brave, you again freak out. You become weak. And when you're supposed to be afraid, you grow a mustache. So everything what is inside, the reaction is the total opposite, outside. You're supposed to be happy, you're confused, try to secure it. Sadness comes to us, we go to Dubai, we go to Bangkok, let's forget about it. We go for happy endings. All things that come to us, we reject them. We reject them. How will you accept yourself? What we need is sukoon, that satisfaction. And for each one of us, it's different. It will touch you differently. So understand what your sukoon is, and it will only come through shukr. No one's born lesser or made lesser. We're all born equal. He has the maker. I'm an artist. You tell me to draw something really, really ugly and very proudly sign my name on it. My ego will not allow you to do that. Allow me to do it. Because God made anyone insignificant. It's what you want to do in life. You will become what you want. You will get exactly what you want. 
Make sure your intention is pure. And the intention will come from here. Come from here. The balance between the heart and the mind makes you a Shukla Makhluka. So, you are at the stage to make extremely important decisions of your life. Understand one thing. What is the purpose? The purpose is one. The purpose is to understand your powers and for people to benefit from you. That's what I've understood in this 44 years of my life. Whatever you do, it is the intention. Today we don't even know. We make money for what? We spend money on what? What is ours? What pleasure are we seeking? So don't be confused. I'm going to end by this little thing that I wrote, you know, between the friends that I, you know, we were just having a conversation, like always, and on fear. And it was a fight. I could not, I could not even agree. You know, I, I don't want to face my fears also because it made me ashamed of myself. And there are things that I did that I reacted, I had no clue how to rectify it. It was just the ego would not let me. Then I wrote this piece. And I'll share it with you. It's called Fight Insight. I want to know where it all started, how and when. The anger grew, the wrath began. Was it fear? Or oh, ego it is. Rage is the cage that seizes you, makes you go against your whim. For will is the way to bring you back from where you are to where you belong. Guide me, O oh friend, for yes, I have sinned. You know more than I. Why can I not let go of this thought? For this is slaying me. It is grieving my kin. And that kills me more. I don't understand. Is it me? Is it them? They love me, I know. No reason past that. For the love that I have, never have I seen. I pray for you all. You all are my joys, my tears and my breath. You are all my wealth, for you are all I have. I can't comprehend how you fail to foresee your friend is in pain. He is hurt, he is torn. He himself cannot get what he did, what he let. Tears in her eyes is not what I want. I fear and I cry, and it still does not gloom. The answers I seek lie in the sea. Assessing the ego serves and protects. It keeps and reserves, maintains and refrains, for ego is the thing which makes man a king. For thy king is he, shall forget not thee. Am I suggesting, justifying the act? The question remains, what is love? Is it vain? Is ego a sin? Why are feelings for them? Why is pleasure in pain? Do we train and maintain? Is this life or is love? Why can I not see love like you? For me, love is blind. I look for a reason where I am wrong. For pain shouldn't come for the ones that are pure. So how do I change my pain to my one? For that, I believe, is the cure for the ill. For now is the time for me to reveal, to behave and be brave. For this is the thing I reach and I pray.